Mexican, Met Mexican people, Spanish people all over the world, and what? Anyway, they, are, they speak the same language, okay? So picture you take black people from Africa from back in the days, or you get them to abandon the African language, okay? We wouldn't need that to communicate with each other as far as talking, okay? So we come here with a language. You know, you take Africa and bring them to America, they got their own language. Why would we speak English, okay? You can't talk about the man, the master in English, okay? We would have used our own fucking language. How come we don't know no fucking African language? They could be the uh, talk all day. I wouldn't understand one word they say. Why is that? Because we're not from Africa. Anywhere you're from, anywhere you're at, that's where you're from. Bam! Back on. Now, get into this video right here with this so-called falling, falling space jump, falling to Earth. Let's break this one down right here. Let's get into it. Finally tonight, round and round it goes. Where it drops, nobody knows. China abandoned its space station in 2016. It has been losing altitude and falling to Earth ever since. But when and where? Chip Reed takes a look. So first hey, of all, let me say this as you see the fucking fake ball Earth right there. <laughs> you have to be driving a satellite. <clears throat> I don't think that's what they sell the masses when they just came out with the so-called bullshit, the science fiction they call satellite. Okay, so if they abandon it, that means it go fall back to Earth. It's all bullshit. All these so-called satellites, 35,000 satellites that you claim is rotating around the Earth, just the China one gonna fall, it's all bullshit. And like I said, you can't follow nothing on CBS. There's only one eye right here at the bottom right to show you. It's the devil work, 100%. They worship the one eye God, and they try to sell you this ball Earth right here which is 100% science fiction, no doubt. Imagine this, a Chinese space station is spinning out of control and hurtling toward Earth. This is all computer graphics, people. It's 100% fake. I don't understand why people buy into this right here. It's just a dream they're selling the masses. Most of it will burn up in the atmosphere, but what's left will come crashing down sometime in the next week, striking somewhere between 43 degrees north and... Mm -hmm. 43, that's how you get to number seven right there. No doubt about it, they never miss all satanic shit. 43 degrees south, which includes most of the United States. Mm -hmm. If you find that frightening, space expert John Logsdon of George Washington University has a word of advice. Relax. So it, the chances of a piece of this thing hitting somebody on Earth are pretty slim. Very so why are you talking about it? Okay, relax. You need us to relax. And why are you putting it in the people's brain that this shit going to fall down and hit somebody? <laughs> why is we have it on the news? It's 100% ball of programming. That's what it is. Program the masses to believe that we're living in a spinning ball of water going a thousand miles per hour at the equator. It's bullshit. <laughs> Very slow. That not zero. Okay, not zero, but the chances are about one million times smaller than the odds of winning the Powerball jackpot. Yeah, because the Powerball is also a fucking bracket you run on the masses. 100% Ponzi scheme. No doubt about it. If you buy the lottery in a world of hurt, only thing you're doing is giving them your money. It's all fake. So really, relax. China launched the Tiangong space station in 2011. Tiangong means heavenly palace, but it's really just all of... they're doing is mocking God, heavenly palace. All they do is mocking God, and people not gonna understand that they're mocking the Almighty with all this bullshit right here. So-called rocket launch. They can't get out the dome. That's what you gotta understand. More than half a million pieces of space junk orbiting the Earth. Mm -hmm. It sounds like over half a million space junk orbiting the Earth with those satellites, and none of them never collide. None of them never hit each other. Are you kidding me? It's one hundred percent fake, people, and that's how they they pass the dummies right there with this bullshit right here. Their mind can't grasp the bullshit. But no doubt about it, this is just garbage they're selling the people. Kind of a flying RV. Mm -hmm. Oh, got that. Flying yeah. RV. Wow. Wake your ass up, people. The only thing they give you is bullshit on the nose. No doubt about it. Uh, you know, like a Winnebago in space. Mm -hmm. And as we all learned as children, what go... Like that right there. Is that real? Is This is real, people. What taking the photo of this so-called satellite right here and the fucking baller? It's all fake. 100%. Wake up. What's up? must come down. Mm -hmm. It's great. Let's go back. 
Tobago in space. Mm -hmm. And as we all learned as children, what goes up must come down. Bam! Right there, I tell you, what goes up must come down. So why they mocking the masses like you can go all the way up until you start floating? What goes up must come down. And that's how you know, people. They're mocking the people 100%. How the fuck you go? If anything that go up must come down, how the hell you are floating satellites? It's 100% bullshit. It gradually slows down over time and slows down and slows down. So why don't why don't the satellite that that that, that why don't the ISS fall, slow down? Why not? It don't have an engine. It's not throbbing. Why it don't slow down? And why the Earth don't slow down? It's one hundred percent bullshit. Eventually, it's not going fast enough to stay in orbit. If okay, the so what would it make it go faster? What what speed this thing up with no engine in it, people? Wow! They say you're in a vacuum in space and you can't have a, a engine throb. How the hell is supposed to go faster or slower by somebody control? It's 100% bullshit. The space station sounds familiar. You probably saw Gravity with Sandra Bullock. Because the only thing that you can relate it to is a fucking movie. That's it. The only thing that can relate space to people is movies. S space all fake. They made it up in the studio. That's what you got to understand. They got to take you to Star Wars, Gravity, and all of that bullshit movie. Because it's 100% TV, when you're gonna understand that. Nothing is real that they give you. I'm about to adopt from Tango. Exactly. What we got to do with real life, people. CCTV right there, 33 in numerology for the fucking Freemasonry. That's what you gotta understand. There it is, go right at the top. CCTV news. Wow. And the real Tiangong will hit the earth, is still up in the air. At this point, we know within plus or minus two days of April the 1st, it's likely to re enter. April Fools. April Fools. Bam! Right there. The fucking fools. I'm telling you, people. April Fools. That's the, that's the day it's supposed to land. An April Fools Day. Wow. <laughs> wow, people. You need to wake your ass up. All they give you is bullshit. They basically take the masses for dumb fucks, no doubt. April Fools Day. Space junk. With a sense of humor. Wow. Read CBS News. Wow, people. It's time for us to wake up, man. No more we shall believe in this dumb shit. And don't worry about Mag leaving. I'm never gonna leave. As long as they got the bullshit, I never leave. Fake news, I never leave. Mag, I'm right here. Yeah. Stu Black, ladies and gentlemen, giving props to BAM! Mag. Thank <laughs> you.